Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Wednesday, March the 6th. Today is Ash Wednesday, the beginning of the season of Lent. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 130, and Hebrews 12, verse 1 through 14. So now join me in singing the third verse of Psalm 95. Come, let us worship and bow down, bending the knee before our Maker. You are our God and we are your people, the flock that you shepherd. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together. O merciful God, we've sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts, and we have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God Grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia! Out of the depths I cry to you, O God Most High. Alleluia! Psalm 130, and please recite it with me. Alleluia! Out of the depths I cry to you, O God Most High. Hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the, my supplications. If you should mark our sins, who can stand? But there is forgiveness with you, that you may be feared. I wait for you, my soul waits, and in your word I hope. My soul waits for you more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in God, for with you there is mercy and fullness of redemption, and you shall redeem Israel from all their sins. Glory to you, source of all the eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Out of the depths I cry to you, O God Most High. Alleluia. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 12, beginning at verse 1. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him endured the cross, disregarding its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such hostility against himself from sinners, so that you may not grow weary or lose heart. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood, and you have forgotten the exhortation that addresses you as children. My child, do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord, or lose heart when you are punished by him. For the Lord disciplines those whom he loves and chastises every child, whom he accepts. Endure trials for the sake of discipline. God is treating you as a child, for what child is there whom a parent does not discipline? If you do not have that discipline in which all children share, then you are illegitimate and not his children. Moreover, we had human parents to discipline us, and we respected them. Should we not be even more willing to be subject to the Father of spirits and live? For they disciplined us for a short time, as seemed best to them. But he disciplines us for our good, in order that we may share his holiness. 
Now discipline always seems painful rather than pleasant at the time, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Therefore lift your drooping hands and strengthen your weak knees, and make straight paths for your feet, so that what is lame may not be put out of joint, but rather be healed. Pursue peace with everyone, and the holiness without which no one will see the Lord. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Comfort your people, O God of Israel, and forgive us our sins and offenses. For we watch for you and wait for you and place our hope in your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.